What's going on, YouTube? You know what, YouTube? In a couple days, I will be three months in on my adventure slash journey here in Africa. Three months. Three months have been, man, I really haven't had any downs. I was about to say ups and downs, but that's not really true. Everything's just been up. You know what I mean? And um, I'm going to be really going in in a different video about some of the things that I've experienced um, in my first three months. But this little part really ain't about me. You know what I'm saying? I want to switch over and talk to a friend of mine. She's been here one year and I got some questions for her. You know what I'm saying? So, hope. What's up? Hey. <laughs> this is Alita Yasha Ala. All right. And I heard through the grapevine, a little African bird told me that today or yeah. recently, yesterday, you celebrated your first 12 months, your first year here in Africa. Yes. And yes. so how do you feel about that? I feel amazing. I can't believe I have been here for 12 months. It went by pretty doggone fast. Um, I feel like I accomplished a lot in that 12 months. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel amazing. I feel like I got over a milestone. I feel like I set an example. I feel like a pioneer. Because now mm. a lot of people are coming. Everybody is understanding what, what time it is. And so, yeah. and I'm a, I'm a part of that too. So not only am I a pioneer for this being real, mm -hmm. but I'm also in a position to help those come here and do the same thing. I'm in a position to help them get land. If you know, they need help with anything else, I'm like their grounds person. So yeah, all praises to the most high. I'm excited. Big facts, big facts. Yeah, because you know what? Actually, before I moved out here, I saw that because uh, we were Facebook friends or Instagram friends or something like that. And I, I remember you coming out here in October, yeah. you know, back when I really didn't have Africa on my mind at all. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty awesome. What would you say? Um, what would you say? Like one of the low points have been in your first 12 months um the low points that's a good question you put me on the spot here mm -hmm. um, um let me think of a low point um i think one of the low points um was something we was just talking about you and i kelly is that um the feelings that I got from some of the Arabs and the Chinese in America, mm -hmm. I often get that a lot here from the Ghanaians. Well, at least initially I was. Okay. And so I was getting this feeling of like, you know, they think we're rich. They think that I think I'm better than them and they have like no empathy for us. So that was kind of taking a toll on me because I found myself leaving my house and just, I don't know, my energy will go down. Like I wouldn't mm. have the patience to just be bothered. And like, you know, so that's kind of was like a low point in my life. I haven't had a lot of lows. That's good. Yeah. As you ask me that question, I'm trying to think of some lows. And yeah, that's just it's not that many, story. which is, yeah, which is great. So then let's talk about some highs, it's right? Because highs. I know, let me see your, let me see your t-shirt. Oh, this yes. is one of the Thank highs, you. right? Yes, sir. Motherland Essentials, all natural products. All right, check them out. Okay, yes. you see the, you see the, uh, the phone number and all that. Talk to me about some of the um, great experiences that you've had. I've done a lot here. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I'm gonna get to my business, but before that, I've, I've, I've. I've got in my driver license, I got in my mm. residency permit, I have a mm. bank account, I have a P.O. box, um, I have a team of people that aid me into doing what I think I'm here to do, so I have a personal driver, a cook, a cleaner, these are things like that are, are really, really setting me up to kind of have something in the next five years or whatever, mm -hmm. I own land, I'm building my first home from the ground, I'm the first person in my family to not only own land, but to also build their home from the ground the way I see fit, okay. um, I've managed to start um, three businesses. I have an LLC, which is this one, Motherland Essentials. So I sell all natural products like deodorant, body butters, uh, mosquito repellent, candles. Um, I'm getting into the soap making business. And then I also sell now CBD items. So CBD infused uh, body butter and body scrubs and things like that. And then I also help people buy land here. So I work closely with the chief, the king, and the rabbi 
to help um, the diasporas come here and to purchase land. And then I do consultations. If you have questions and you want to pick my brain about my experiences or if you just want somebody in the ground to be your eyes and ears so that you know you're not getting scammed, I'm your girl. I can look okay. into everything you need. And I started a database so that I know I can refer you a your driver, I can refer you a cleaner, I can refer you everything you see you need. So, anything I need, right? Yeah, so I did. I think I did a lot in 12 months. Now let's see what the next 12 months bring. That's what's up. So what do the next 12 months look like? Well, you don't know what the next 12 months look like, but what do you, what would you like for the next 12 months to bring? Um, you gonna start focusing months, on your land? Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. The, the focus now is literally business, uh, Bible, business, and land. So if I'm not studying the road of the most high, I'm gonna be under my land building. I'm starting with my, um, my floor pan, and then I'm gonna do my fence, and then I'll just do it by, you know, brick by brick, you know, take my time. I have two years, and that's another accomplishment. My rent is paid for the next two years. So in two years, I can, I can really have time to like figure out and, you know, develop what I wanna do. So the next 12 months, I hope to get my business, uh, Motherland Essentials, in America. Mm -hmm. So now that I have the LLC, I'm working on the FDA approval. And okay. I want to get an NGO started where I help people pay their rent here. What does NGO stand for? It's, I don't know. I can't remember. What does NGO stand for? I think it's, I it's, it's a not-for-profit, not yeah. But I don't know. Here, they change. They, we don't call it that. Right? Yeah, so, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's a non-profit, but yeah. So it's basically just to give back to the community. I'm not sure what the acronym is. But yeah, so that's what I plan to okay. do next year. Focus on my business. And, my, and hopefully I'll be married, okay? Because in the 12 months, I'll be married. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> Who were you in your former life, uh, in your American life? Who were you? Um, in my American life, I was an international runway model. Um, I was a motivational speaker. I was a, you so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, a model and branding coach. So I helped to brand, package, and market people. So I started uh, Ali Epson Modeling Academy, which is in New York and in Atlanta. And so that's, I did a lot of traveling and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't really, I don't ever even think about that life no more. But I, I did a lot of magazines and movies and TV shows and stuff like that. But okay. that don't matter now. All that matters is my garden and the yeah. trees that I'm nourishing, okay? And the, and the fact that I know what plant and bushes these is, what I can eat and what I can't eat. Uh -huh. If I ever come into, you know, a barn where I got to eat outside. That's right. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations on your one year anniversary in... Africa, what's last question before we get out of here? But we're about to go to, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little function we finna go to, you know, and um, on the beach. And we gonna show y'all how we do. Yeah, we gonna show y'all how we do it. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all don't think we out here, uh, you know, living. Like bombs, honey, royalty. We starting the palace here, okay? Thy kingdom come, that's what he said. Heaven is on earth, you feel me? Heaven is inside of us. So yeah, we living it. We starting this journey already, honey. It's lit out here. <laughs> What's the last question? Yeah. So the last question is, um, so you just made me forget. Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot, you know, but we're gonna pick it back up, we gonna pick it back up man. We'll holler at y'all. Beautiful day today. Beautiful, beautiful day today. Oh, they got the massage. Yes. The massage table. I'm going to have to mess with that a little bit. Brothers. Look at my brothers playing a little volleyball. Guys, I'm telling you. Look, y'all don't even understand. Super, super, super freaking dope. This is what I've been waiting for right here, man. This is what I've been waiting for. The ocean. The beach. Man, this is too lovely, man. Oh, I love this. So, anyway, um, we are here in... Dutch Comenda, about an hour away from Takrari, if I said that correctly. And uh, we're just celebrating the life of um, 
Kwesi, one of the brothers out here, him and his wife have a nice, lovely home uh, here, right on the beach. And man, look, I've been waiting to just come down to a nice, clean beach. Oh man, oh dude, if you could feel this breeze, I'm telling you, you would melt. So, wow, so you see all the coconuts just on the palm trees and everything, and uh, it's just a beautiful Sunday here in Africa. I'll walk over to the beach. Walk over to the ocean. I hope everybody's doing well, no matter where you are, state to state, country to country. Oh man, this breeze is just so heavenly. Like, I don't even know what word to use. But uh, we got the Atlantic right here. And it's Perfect. Oh, it's a little, you need to do a little bit of cleaning up on this sand, but this is really nice. The breeze, oh my goodness, I bet you at nighttime, this breeze is every freaking thing. Just have a hammock right here. Chilling. I love it. the deal good people Judah's Exodus man I'm back and I'm black okay just here on the beach man just loving it it's a wonderful day another wonderful Sunday Sunday is here man I'm so laid back and chill it's laid back regardless but I don't know is there something about a Sunday it's just super duper laid back um, man, you know, it's a lot of things going on around the world, um, especially with the mandates that are being handed down right now. I just saw some information about California putting down some mandates on the children pre-K through 12, pre-K through 12, has to catch, not catch, has to take the jab. Man, that is some wild stuff to me. Because look, I'm already knowing that it's gonna go from California to New York to Illinois is definitely going to hit those top three cities. Um, and then it's just going to spread all through the country. You're trying to tell me that all of the kids have to get it? All of the kids got to get it. Wow. You know what? There's going to be a lot of homeschooling going on. So you parents out there, I hope you step up your homeschooling skills because, um, <laughs> man, they pushing this thing heavy right now. Man. They are pushing this thing heavy, 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 heavy. Wow. You know, I feel, I feel some kind of way, man, because I know that a lot of people already have it. You know, they already took it. Um, I think right now, it's October, and I think right now, a third, or well, damn, I don't even know. But I, I, I thought it was a third of the whole country has already taken it. That's a lot of people. It might even be more than that. But that's a lot of freaking people, man. You know, and just to see a lot of the pushback that the country is getting right now from you know medical professionals, first responders, military, corporate America, man, 
you know, at first, you know, they kind of was trying to, you know, sneak certain mandates in there. But when they start to do stuff like, hey, you know, if you don't take it, then what you can do is you can take the test once a week, but you got to pay for it. You know, nobody wants to have that thing stuff, stuck up their nose all the way up to their freaking brains um, every every week and have to pay for it just to keep their job. So a lot of times that alone will, will make someone just say, forget it, I'll just take it, you know. I'll take the jab. Um, so I've been seeing a lot of family, a lot of friends bite the bullet and just go ahead and take the jab. It's a freaking shame in my book, but who am I? I ain't nobody. Um, it's, 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 it's sad, but you know, at the same time, this is something that has to happen. You know, oh, oh God. Oh, it's a commercial. It's a commercial right now. <laughs> trying to photobomb me. Bro, look at this camera though. Turn it this way. Yeah, my camera With crazy. With this water, like, like wow. Going this way. Amazing. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's pretty. How awesome is this? Mm -hmm. We can't even explain to y'all the breeze. The breeze is like, just. I don't want to leave. Ridiculous. We being rude as hell right now. I know. <laughs> I don't care about no food. I don't care about no. I'm a little hungry, but. I am hungry. You know. Wait, hold on. What's that you drinking right there? It's coconut water with a henna key lime. Damn. Brought to you by Motherland Essentials. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Telly. How's it taste? For the advice or the advising me to put a little key lime in there. It tastes wonderful. It's refreshing. And they all need a jar. I'm about to go sell yeah, it. Yeah, go, 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 go slang that, you know. And that, that's that, what it is too slang. <laughs> that, that henna key lime, man, it just turns it up a notch. And it just makes it even more alkaline and more healthy for the people. Yep, more nutritional. Um, I was just over here. The mandates. Um... What do you think about not only just America, but um, Europe, Australia, and they turning up right now. I don't know if you've seen the videos, but it's a lot of pushback going on. Oh, it's yeah, more pushback yeah. going on yeah. in other places than in America, yes. for sure, yeah, without definitely. a shadow of a doubt. How do you feel about those mandates and stuff? For, um, I don't know, I don't really have a feeling because I have removed myself from that understanding of life. And so, I hate to sound like, you know, I don't care about nothing, nothing else that's going on, but it doesn't affect me. Like, it doesn't, like, phase me. Like, the Most High is blessing me, and I'm basking in that blessing. I don't yeah. know what the rest of the world got going on. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm good, though. You feel me? <laughs> How do you, but, you know, you have loved ones uh, yeah, in yeah, the States. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Telly. And, um, you know, what do you... I mean, I'm sad about it because I know a lot of my people don't understand what's going on. And so, like we were talking about earlier, they will take the vaccination just because, you know, they need to keep their job. And, you know, I, I, and I understand that or whatever. But if you knew what was going on, then, like we were saying, you would exercise a little more faith. Mm -hmm. And so, you won't, you, you would know what time we in. And you just say, okay, it's time out for jobs right now. This is time to jump into my entrepreneur bag. Yeah. So, um, it's Which just a lot of we should be lost. on anyway, the, the so called Negro totally should be in their entrepreneurial bag regardless right now right yeah like, this is sure. our time it's our time yes and you gotta operate in the seasons that are aligned with the most high because you don't have to do nothing you like i make i feel like i make money in my sleep i'm not out here hustling bustling clocking no clock no but i wake up to a cash app to a pay uh, not paypal but to a momo whatever every yeah. single day from one of my four different businesses one of them something. And so this is how the most high want us. We weren't never supposed to be in debt and have it from being from check to check and living the bill to bill. Like, nah, yeah. we royal people. So we live. The most high got gold roads. What you think he want for me? Or for, you, for us? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm basking in the blessings right now. And I want my family to get some of this, but they won't listen to me. They, they Wait, you it. want your family to get some of this? Yeah, some of it, but they won't pay. Attention. They don't want this. <laughs> what they want? They, they think won't. I edited this video. They think it's uh. They want Photoshop. McDonald's. Yeah, they want McDonald's and cigarettes. They want McDonald's and, and cigarettes and, and pork. And pork. <laughs> they don't want palm <laughs> trees. <crab> legs. <laughs> they don't want no palm trees. They don't want no sand. They don't want no easy breezy life. 
That's you know so I mean? nice, Telly. Look at that. Wow. She, she likes my 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 phone and it, it's camera. And the, the just the view, the camera gives it justice. Like normally, I wouldn't be able to tell y'all how dope this is with my camera. Like it'll look cute, but not like this. His camera is actually that's how it's looking. Like this is beautiful. And then zoom in on these shades real quick though. I ain't really ooh, ooh. Oh, real. these lit. Yeah, you know. A part of me thought it said believe. I said that's lit, but it said nine five. Yeah, these my. These what y'all know about nine five? I don't know about it, but they, they don't. don't know about nine five. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Let me talk. I was about gonna say, stuff. hold on. Let me turn this camera around. <laughs> How do you turn it around? Uh, All right. Nah, but seriously though, on some other stuff. Um, we there's a lot of the diaspora here. Okay, when I say here, I mean Ghana. Okay, of course, they've been inviting us to kind of come back, you know, to West Africa ever since 2019. You know, kind of did this big marketing thing, kind of, you know, the year return and now beyond the year return. And so since then, that's been a lot of us. I've been checking it out. Going back to America, wrapping up America. Uh, yeah, and coming up here. Okay, yeah. house right up here um that's where we are i'm sure he'll do some takes from the actual party yeah but this is life y'all we ain't visiting this ain't no vacation this yeah, is this, every this, day this, opening this, your eyes this is what we call sunday yeah this is what we call sunday you feel this me sunday, this just y sunday you know what i'm saying <laughs> Right now, look, we in Africa, and look, it's a right now. It's a, it's it's a fear, it's a fear of a black planet. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, and that's what we living in right now. I just feel like, you know, I don't have to worry about no no no. I don't have to worry about no drive-bys. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about random shots. I don't have to worry about ducking and dodging. Police brutality, police, brutality, police messing with you, period. Pulling over by the police yeah. and hoping that you make it out of that situation. Telly, is, is, is getting pulled over that. by the police even a thing here? Like, is that? They don't even have, hardly have police. Yeah, it's not even, it don't even exist. <laughs> they definitely don't have them, like, in cars. Right. Over. That's not even mm -hmm. a thing. They got a police barrier. That's as much contact as we gonna have with That's them. about it. They do not bother us. And then it's 99% black everything. Wherever you eat, wherever you shop, wherever you... Black. All black. Shop is black. Yeah. Okay. I mean... Live in black. Everything that they kind of showed us on the TV when we was little watching TV and the commercials come on with Sally Struthers and she got the little Ethiopian baby with the flies and all that. Man, that's, 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 no, that's no, not it. No, not at all. No. This is how we that part of life is in everybody country, not just no, ours. No, like, the they come on somebody. The right. These people out here, they live off the earth. They know what to do with this tree, with this, with this soil. With everything, they know how to make this water alkaline. This water right here, they know exactly what to do to drink. They know how to build these homes, even these little huts. Little huts, stuff. man. They can, they can build this stuff with ease, man. They taught this stuff from early, early, early age, and um, that's what we over here learning too. We learning how to yes. get water from the from the ground. Yeah, we, we are. How to, Grow our own food, and we learning how to build. You know, that's what we do. Yeah, I've learned so much about building materials since I've been here. I've never known nothing about nothing but cement. That's all I knew. Right. Now I can tell you five different ways to build a home, literally. Five different ways. Mm -hmm. so, so, man, um, we look. I'm not gonna be talking to y'all all day. Yeah, because we're missing gonna, it. <laughs> we, you know, you can, I don't know if you hear the music. But we finna go over here, we finna get our little party on, you know. You know, of course, you know, I made some jerk chicken, you know what I'm saying? So, oh yeah, we gotta get a video of your food. Yeah, we gonna check that out. Make me happy. 
my little drive. Y'all hear it? It's you can day. Hey, hold on. He's still right beside me. Yeah, I wanna get. Okay, Chef Judah is in the freaking. I wanna love you. today house this is where I'm about to get it my massage yeah you hear me okay right on the ocean man I'm telling y'all it don't cost a lot it don't cost a lot for you to have something like this you know this let me see let me look at this this house looks like it's on one plot of land. Okay, one plot. Something like this, right on the ocean. This is, it's not hard to get. You know, and, and look, a lot of y'all got bread too. Stop acting like y'all ain't got no bread out there. Okay. Y'all got bread. I seen somebody on uh, Facebook talking about, ah, oh, not everybody can afford to come out there, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but your cell phone costs $2,000 though, right? Your cell phone costs $1,500 though, right? That's a plane ticket. At least come and see. You ain't even gotta come to Africa, bro. But you ain't gotta be in America forever either. right yes. how was first of all how long have you been in Africa number one and number two give me a brief synopsis of your Egypt trip okay so I've been in uh, Africa in Ghana since March 25th I sold everything and came here three suitcases in the backpack my synopsis of Egypt is all we need to do is call on the spirit and the power of our ancestors Okay. So, right now, 
We are going to get behind this table and serve you. Okay? Hold on.
my Facebook friends and family. I don't want nothing. I'm just uh, coming to you live on this easy breezy Sunday here in Comenda, Ghana. I know, look, I'm from the shot, so I know it's about to get cold there. I just wish y'all could feel this, man. And I ain't talking about this wonderful breeze. I, I, I know you can see the breezes all in the palm trees with it, but I ain't even talking about that. I'm talking about I wish y'all could feel this sense of freedom, you hear me? I wish y'all could feel that, man, like, I swear, anytime I leave America, I really feel like a, you know, that, that, that 800 pound gorilla is off my back, yo. But here is something, this is a little different here though, man. It's a little different here. This person housed right here is from St. Louis. This person housed right here is from Cleveland. It's more, man, look, let me tell you something, man. The brothers and sisters from the states, so-called Negro, we out here deep. Deep, 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 all right? We doing our thing, man. This beach is lovely, man. I ain't gonna front, I think I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna buy some of this land right here, man, because, whoo, I really on the G. I wanna go to sleep right now. I just wanna, man, this breeze will put your ass to sleep, okay? I got my partner right here. My partner from the UK. We over here getting a little, woo, getting a little footage. Man, we just over here partying and stuff. And, Doing what we do on a regular Sunday, you know, chilling, maxing, relaxing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hoping that y'all have a, as good a, 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 well, I hope you're having a good day today. You know, the Most High, He didn't have to wake us up today, but He chose to and He did. And I'm really, really, really appreciative. This is me and Roy capturing each other. <laughs> Roy, could you say hi say hi to America for hi, me? Hi America, how you doing? Could you tell America what we what we do? I know you film and I don't want to mess your I'm messing his video all the way up for the sake of my video. Say hello to the UK. What's up UK? Yeah. Hey. I don't know what you guys are doing out there in the UK, but come on home to Africa for a, a time or two. See? Tell you good name, man. He knows That's right. Yeah, so this is where we're Yeah. It's my friend Roy. He's from the UK. Man. 